we're going to focus on the search section of Counter-Sketch. But before we do that, the most important search engine is you. The key information, of course, that you are looking for is what your customer wants, her desires, and her interests. Counter-Sketch doesn't change any of this age-old equation. So before you begin the Counter-Sketch search, you should qualify your customer by talking to her, asking her questions, and listen carefully to what she has to say. No doubt you'll be talking about a piece that she's wearing or a piece that she has seen, and perhaps you'll start with a real piece of jewelry from your own display case. You might use one of the prototypes that comes with the Counter Sketch Studio package, but inevitably you will narrow the search down to a general area of interest for her, and then you will bring her over to your Counter Sketch workstation and begin working with the software. The search begins with the Action tab search, which is on the far left of the screen. So here we are in the search section. You'll notice that in the counter sketch main window, there is nothing showing. And that is because we haven't told counter sketch what we're searching for. Searches are activated always by this green go button in the lower left section of the screen. And as you mouse over it, you'll notice that it lights up. Now, if you simply click on it, Countersketch will default and show you the entire inventory. And actually, this is not too bad a setup for browsing through the, the catalog one page at a time. And you can do it in a very traditional page turning motion with your mouse, which is very cool. More than likely, you will have some ideas of where you want to go and what your customer would like to see. So you can start your search by resetting the search criteria, which gets you back to the blank screen again. In the next box is a drop-down menu where you can select what you are looking for. So to just illustrate that, let's click on the word pendant and you now see it in this jewelry type box. If we were to click the search button, Countersketch will bring us up all the pendants that are in the catalog. So we'll reset that. If you don't set a jewelry type here, it will default to all. The next area of the search is the metal type, and you can have all white metal, which would refer, of course, to white gold or platinum or palladium. You can have primarily white gold with the yellow gold accents. You can have all yellow gold, or you can have primarily yellow gold with white gold heads and accents. Let's have a look at that gold with white gold accents. And once again, we'll go down and click the Go button. And immediately, you'll see our results. The next area is the center gem color. Now, this is a color wheel that you can click on. And when you click on a particular color, you'll notice that it moves into the focus area here. And you'll also notice that the gems underneath all turn color. There's a nice trick you can use with this. It's simply to use your scroll wheel and the entire interface will rotate underneath the highlight area. So let's suppose we're looking for emeralds. We'll just scroll around till we've got that. And then we'll click go once again. And here is some real magic. You'll notice that Counter Sketch is now showing us the entire search results, but this time with a center emerald and diamonds and yellow gold and white. This has never been possible before with paper catalogs. And now at last you can visualize every item in the Counter Sketch library set up exactly as your customer is requesting. A very powerful feature. In the next section, as we scroll down here, are the gems shapes and you can either let it default to all or suppose she's looking for an oval stone. Let's highlight that and click go once again. What we will see are all oval gems in yellow gold and with diamond accents as we had requested. Very, very powerful stuff. You can specify the measurements of a stone that you might be looking for, perhaps that she has, by typing into these boxes. Let's suppose it's an 8 by 10. 
And if we click go again, Counter Sketch is now showing us all of the gems that have the control ability to be sized to an 8x10. Again, in the color, metal color, and accent metal color that your customer has requested. Counter Sketch's key feature, Search, is a very, very powerful tool. And in addition to what we've looked at, you can continue on and search by setting type, collection type. For instance, if we were interested in wedding bands, um, Counter Sketch will find those for you with all the other criteria specified. You can search by general styling, um, classic, vintage, contemporary, and the UK collection. Very, very powerful stuff. And you can even go further in with an advanced search and you can look at side gem color, side gem shapes, side gem size, and you can look under the artist. You'll find all the counter sketch modelers listed here and counter sketch will filter the uh, entire library based on that criteria as well. And of course, if you have made a note of the SPI or starting point inventory number, you can simply type it in here and CounterSketch will find that particular item or series for you. So that's the key feature search. Next, let's look into visual search, which is initiated with this icon here. This is a really, really powerful tool. It allows you to search along styling lines. You can set all of the gem colors and metal colors as we did in the key feature search. In this particular format, you can simply go from line to line. And as you notice here, if we click on this, it we're saying to counter sketch, well, more like this and less like the other ones. And counter sketch will bring up similar pieces in the library that you might want to consider. And we can keep advancing that way. It is a remarkably good way to look for stylings with your customer. This is perhaps a more natural way for us to search than by selecting keywords. At the bottom of this search, you will see the history of your selections and you can go back at any stage simply by clicking on one of the smaller thumbnails. Then you can start in a different direction and down a different path. Very, very nice stuff. And this particular feature of Counter Sketch is new. You can expect to see it expanded as the library grows. Finally, there is the browse view where CounterSketch shows you row and column list of models that you have found through uh, either method and it's a very good way to scan through many, many models and simply highlight the one that you're interested in. Now, the last aspect of search is what do you do with your search results when you found the particular item that you want? Well, this is very easy and it leads us into the portfolio section, which we will discuss in greater detail. But just to show you where this is headed, we'll select this item and you'll notice that this little green indicator light shows up on the far right side in the portfolio section. Now I have started a portfolio for our customer, Mrs. Jones, and all that I have to do is click add and you'll notice that that icon is added to the portfolio that we have set up for her. As we're going through any particular search, we can find the piece, click on it, and then click add to the starting point inventory in Mrs. Jones' portfolio, and that item is put in there for her. So we can quickly cull down the inventory to just pieces that are of interest to her. Then from there, we can go into the full detail customization, which we'll cover in the next video. So there you have the really powerful search engine in Counter Sketch Studio.